Advantages to good use. Well, the pap immediately shooting. And he's connected well here. Oh, Tate in with a guillotine quickly, though. And he's got this locked up. Tate looking for a big squeeze here. And he's just over the jaw, I believe. The and that's what's saving Aiton de Pape here. Yeah, he hasn't brought his hands up to defend, so it's clearly not quite on. Hustling to stay in on this single leg. And the start of that one was uh, almost whole game Masvidal against Ben Askren, but with a double leg instead of a flying knee. Yeah, I wondered where he was going with that. He's getting stalled out a little bit in this position, though. It's, it's a lot of energy to keep that leg up and against your body without uh, off-balancing your opponent. And you can hear Brad Pickett calling for the chin strap the whole time. And Corey Tate just staying neutral, his neutral position here. The Pape clearly with no intention of letting go of that leg. No, he's not. And it's interesting because Corey Tate did threaten the neck enough to force the hands to come up. Again, he's trying to stuff the head down for the chin strap. He's going to struggle to connect his hands with the, the good shoulder pressure of the Pape, though. When he fights the hands again, get that leg out. Yeah, the corner of Tate instructing the man how to get the leg out. Obviously, easier said than done. Oh, that's a good completion, but you see immediately Tate, no intention to stay on the ground. Look at that for a post. Great stuff from Corey Tate, man. Yeah, I mean, we say it all the time. It's one thing to put the guy on the ground. It's another thing to keep him there. And Corey Tate having no intention of staying down on the canvas. Equally, the Pape not wanting anything to do with striking a range with Corey Tate. And it's a fairly solid game plan, you've got to say. Absolutely. Oh, oh jumping me. Beautiful stuff. Oh, that's how you get someone like that guy. Yeah, let's see how much uh, energy was expended by either party. That was a long sequence of single leg attack and defense. Nice high kick there from Tate. Looking to reset and get those hands and feet to work. Question mark kick. Yeah, went south for the Pape. Now back to Orthodox. Nice left hook there from Capcom Corey. Yeah, Corey looking nice and fluid here. With the Pape still nice and composed. That's a good connection on the hips. Changes level so nicely. And he's got the he's got the lock here. He's got a good grip with his hands. Beautiful hip connection. Solid stuff there from the Belgian fighter. Yeah, and he's keeping that tight waisted grip. You know that, that Corey Tate's gonna try and get on his left hip. He's gonna try and walk his way back to the cage and use it to stand back up. The question is, is the Pape going to be able to land any ground to pound without giving enough space for Tate to pop back up? Using a lockdown here on the legs, you can see that entanglement to try and stretch the hip of the Pape out, stop him crawling his way up the body. Looking to create some space here is the Belgian. I think a few shots in this position and, you know, you can argue this is going to be a, a good round for the Belgian. He's certainly not had it all his own way, but... He take use that leg entanglement to lift the leg up. That took some of the weight off, allowed him to fight that right underhook back. See, there he goes again, kicking out. He's back to butterfly guard. Now he's going to try and step one leg out, but you see the Pape has to go immediately to the hips. Now, now, kick him off. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, triangle. This is a good entry. He's not going to finish it. He's only got 15 seconds. And the Pape knows he can keep heavy posture here. He goes, head's coming up. That's going to keep him safe. 
Cool, another 30 seconds, so this would be interesting, but uh, a little bit too little, too late from Corey Tate. But it again gives the, the Pape something else to think about now oh, when yeah. he does get that takedown. Yeah, he did a good job of finding his way through to that crooked guard, but... Let's take a look at that crazy start to the round. <laughs> what a sprawl from Tate as well. Yeah, great reactions there from uh, from Corey Tate. That may be one of the quickest takedown attempts in Coach Warriors history. Yeah, I'm really going to be interested to see how cardio plays into this one. This is the jumping knee, I suspect. There we go, that landed. Beautiful stop. Separates there, and that's when he did some good work from distance with the strikes. And here we see this triangle entry. And yeah. as you say, Josh, just a little bit more time required there. Yeah, it was a classic entry. Really nice wrist control to get it. And let's see how Aiton De Pape starts this second round. Is he going to go for that takedown again? And Corey Tate surely is going to have that knee holstered. Yeah, he needs to. Second round, Jens. You ready? You ready? Clean up. Uh, there's your question answered. I think it would have been tempting to fight a little bit too much. Oh, no, Tate's got him flinching here. He saw Tate motion for a takedown and it forced the pack to cover immediately. The pack tries for a takedown again, eats a left hand there. And this is not where he wants to be at range with Corey Tate, that huge wingspan and the unorthodox striking style are really going to come together for him here. Yeah, this is what Tate needs to do. He's found a rhythm well. There are unorthodox shots from the outside. Mixing him up as well. It's a left hand from Aiton de Pape. It was tough to see whether he just called his man off balance there or not. Yeah, and it, it, you know, it was a good left hand from Tate as well, but he's been bundled to the ground here. And de Pape trying to stay attached to the back. Going to get that left hook in, but you know Tate's cage craft is, is excellent, so he's going to scrape him off the cage with a half turn to the left here. More and more, we're seeing people try and get that right arm all the way around the back and control the opposing wrist. Now let's see if the Pap looks for that. Well, he drags him down, and he's been out, uh, out hustled there. Oh, good high hips though. Rubber guard. And now oh, he's gonna has a bit of time on the ground. Well, let's see if he clears the head here. He's, oh no, gives it up, gives it up. It's a good attacking position if you can can lock someone down with that high single guard, but. Much easier said than done. We've already seen though that Tate will attack and he's got a little bit of an angle here. You see he's gonna probably glue that right foot to the cage, use it to pivot if he gets a chance. But the Pat Page doing a good job of squaring him back up. The Pape wants to stay in straight lines here. He doesn't want the angles. And you can see the cage is going to get pushed on. Again, squares him up nicely. Good defensive work. Oh, there's the angle again. <laughs> I mean, it's telegraphed to one side, but... You know, you can generate so much power in the right circumstance by using the cage. He's got triangle entry on that left side again. You see him trying to push that arm through. Pape wants to stay attached, but putting himself in danger to do so. To watch the up kicks there, and again, he's going to have to be careful of that triangle entry from Tate on the ground. Well, if he can keep that right arm tight to the hip, stuff that knee through, he should be fine. There we go. Exactly what he's looking to do. Tate landing a solid elbow from the bottom there. Pape's got to get some damage in as he goes here. Tate regards again, and this is a good entry for him. See, because he's managed to shut down that right shoulder. He's got a block in front of it, which stops the hips from shrugging forward. A lot of options for him here. He can attack the shoulder with a shoulder lock. He's got triangle entries. 
you can see De Pape trying to drive the shoulders back in deep, but it's the block in front of that right shoulder that's keeping this frame in place. De Pape separates again, looks to... Yeah, but he's in a triangle. Position. Dangerous times it, it's for the he, Belgium here. He wanted to stay connected so urgently that he just went forward. Oh, and the arm. Take going back to the triangle. Yeah, he's hit, hitting the arm to defend the triangle. That's going to try and open up some space on the left side of his neck. And this is a bad spot for Aiton the Papa. Yeah, he's pulling down, squeezing everything together. I think he's got him. Looking for the finish here. The Papa trying to punch his way out. Oh, he's staying in this with everything he's got. 28 seconds. It's going to be the longest half a minute. Oh, he Second round triangle. That was lovely guard work. Sometimes when you fall over on your side like that, it can be really hard to, to get the pressure with the hips. But you see, committed both hands and really pulled down and pushed the hips up and just managed to get that last little bit of closure on the arteries he needed. Yeah, and it looked like uh, it looked like Aiton the Papa was trying to gut that one out, but. There's only so long you can survive in a tiger that, that's right. Yeah, I mean, he threatened the arm nicely here. The pap hit it. And I mean, to be honest, he should have kept his arm hidden here. And, and he got he got compressed up against the cage a little bit as well, which didn't help him. But you see here, it's, it's a tough spot to sometimes finish. And Ekandeo doing a great job of finishing that triangle. Okay, center the cage. Corey, A very happy Corey Tate. With a big win here in his hometown to close out 2019. I can't wait to see what's next for Capcom Corey in 2020. Let's throw this one to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Leon Roberts, has called a stop to this bout after four minutes and 36 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of triangle choke in the red corner, Capcom Corey. Ten and five is the record now for Capcom Corey, and he does it in style here at Cage Warriors 111. A solid submission win. He's not just a talented striker, he's got a flashy ground game to boot. And we could see some very interesting matches for Capcom Corey next year.